Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Giggity, real name is Mark, and in today's video, we have Pimp My Ride episode number 24 on the Volker Nebula Turbo, which is obviously primarily based off of the Volvo 240. Now, for those who are new here to the channel, the way these Pimp My Rides work is I'm trying to customize literally every single customizable vehicle, including planes, helicopters, boats, motorcycles, trucks, and obviously cars in gta online before gta 6 comes out and then we're obviously going to do it with gta 6 cars too and i always go off of recommendations so today some guy recommended in the last video on the manana that he wanted to see a, the volker nebula turbo so we are doing the volker nebula turbo as the next car so yeah um so if you want to see a car or a airplane or a helicopter or whatever you want to see leave a comment below and i will customize that car next okay all right all right friendo okay okay now let's talk about this car itself uh yeah so it's called the volker nebula turbo and it is in the sports classics class actually i think primarily based off of the volvo 240 yeah sports, sports classics um and it has a price it's rear wheel drive too by the way um because of course it is it's actually so like unbelievably horribly grip uh, on like not grippy at all <laughs> um it is very ungrippy, but it has a price of, oh, I'm in the feature tab. It's a two-door, so it should be in the two-door category. Um, and it has a price of, it should still be on here. I don't think they took it off, did they? Oh my God, did they? No way they took it off. Am I being stupid or did they actually take this off? I think they might've taken the Volker Nebula Turbo off, ladies and gentlemen. I am so sorry to hear that. It might be a four door though, actually. No, yeah, they, I think they took it away. I know it's not in Legendary Motorsports, so. Wow, okay, well, sorry. Uh, <laughs> if you wanted the Volker Nebula Turbo, you can no longer buy it. It has been removed from the website. And uh, yeah, like I said, rear wheel drive, very like horrible grip, watch this. Like, this, I'm just, I mean, I, yes, I'm flooring it in the snow, but this is crazy. Like, I can't even, I'm, I, I am full wheel, my wheel is fully locked there trying to get into the Los Santos Customs. No, stop it. It's so, like, pet bad with grip. <clears throat> Excuse me. I still have a cold. I've had a cold for, like, weeks now. It's been horrible. Anyway, let's get to customizing the old Volker Nebula. I always crash it now because it's snow, so if you don't crash it, you don't get to repair it, and it doesn't get rid of the snow. It's so annoying. But anyway, armor, brakes, all right, front bumpers, primary front bumper, that's that's okay. Race fogs, rally fogs. I'm, I want to go for a clean build. You can very easily do a rally build on this, but I want to do like a clean stance build, uh, and so I'm not going to not gonna go. You can also do like a, like a drift spec Russian build. Um, honestly... Honestly, the front, the stock front bumper is the best for what I want to go for. So I guess we're keeping it stock. Um, and then the rear bumper. Yeah, we'll do the primary rear bumper. That looks pretty good, actually. Engine tunes, of course. Exhaust. I love this car, by the way. I feel like this is such an underrated car. Such an underrated car. Epic bean can. You mean fart can? That's what people actually call them in real life, not bean cans. Rockstar. Uh, I guess we'll do the dual tip exhaust. I mean, it's not that special, but whatever. Fenders, you can do sticker bomb fenders, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to, but you could if you want. Plane grill, probably going to do that. Get rid of those fog lights. Grill fogs or grill fogs and light covers. Yeah, we're going to do the plane grill. Obviously, there's a lot of mods available for this car to make it like a full rally build if you want to, which is, I think, really cool. But yeah, sticker bomb, rusty hood, uh, exposed turbo hood, exposed twin turbo hood because drift car. There are no words needed. Yeah, that is, a, it swaps the entire motor when you do that. Look. <coughs> It starts with what looks like an inline six. Um, no, that's actually just an inline four. You know, only four pipes are coming off that. So it starts with an inline four, and then when you do that, no words needed one, it swaps it to a V8. So that's interesting. Do I actually want to go for the rusty hood? We'll come back to that. We might do the rusty hood. That, that actually might work. Uh, we're gonna keep this, the headlights just how they are. I think it looks better that way. We're not gonna do neons either. So far, this is, I don't have much mods on this i like that i like that 70s called one nordic racer geometric camo razzle dazzle roadkill okay uh keeping it real 
rusty shark another like drift spec one if you want to do that Ho Ooh, hawaiian snow rally that's actually pretty cool i like that steampunk or the oodles of doodles so there's obviously a, a, a ridiculous different ways that you could build this car. You could do like low rider type stance thing. You could do, that's another low rider type slips to tans. You could do rally. Uh, this is like drift spec, you know, drift spec again. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, and then just like, I guess I would call that drift spec, drift spec, rally, and then rally. But I'm going to do this one. Uh, I think it's just clean. I like that a lot, actually. Louvers. You could do black louvers or primary louvers um yeah we'll go black louvers actually we'll, we'll do some louvers mud guards oh you can't get rid of the mud guards you're always gonna i guess we'll just do none then uh that's annoying i wish i could get rid of those because i do not like them uh we'll just do yellow and black for the plate right now we'll come back if i need to roll cage i'm not gonna do a roll cage but you can if you want again that's for like the rally guys roof weekend vacation Large roof rack, alpine rack, that's actually pretty cool. Stack o' oh crap, or junk trunk, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna do the alpine rack, I actually kinda like that, that's pretty sick. Spoiler, sticker bomb trunk, carbon trunk, and it does actually change the traction. Wow, okay, so if you put a bunch of stickers on your car, or if you make your car's trunk rusty, by the way, you get more traction, just wanted to let you know, in case you were wondering. Sports wing, mid-level wing, drift wing, or race wing. Ooh, I like the ra oh, never mind. Okay, I liked the race wing at first, but then I saw that it added like pins and that weird vent stuff to the trunk. So I'm just gonna go with the sports wing. I think it's the same thing without that. So uh, suspension lowered. Wow, that really lowers it. <laughs> wow, it's kind <clears> of <throat> oh my. Okay, all right. I did not expect them to give you that option um, in this car. <clears throat> So I guess you could just do this if you're going for like a race car build, but I actually do like it. Stand I mean, I wanted to stance it, so I guess this works. I don't, I'm not gonna do this though. Competition is, it, pretty much these are all the same level. They're just different camber levels, and I think that's just stupid. I mean, that's a, plenty of camber, the street suspension. So I'm gonna do street suspension. It's already slammed. It just doesn't have ridiculous amounts of camber. So I like that the best so far. Turbo tuning, wheels, we'll come back to you in a second. S tints, we'll do, we're actually not gonna do any tints. Yeah, we're not going to do tints on this car. I think it works better without tints. Now, for wheels, I kind of want to do like a rally type wheel, even though the car is not, like, it's kind of like a, you know, 1552, if you guys have ever seen, if you guys have ever have like real life knowledge of, of like wheel brands and stuff, then you know what 1552 is. Like, I kind of want to go for like that type, type of wheel on this car. I think it would work the best. So unlike, I saw this doesn't look bad at all, the Exos. Yeah, I don't mind that, but I actually, I honestly just kind of like, like, this one right here, the rally throwbacks. Yeah, what do we got down here, though? Oh, actually, what do we have in Lowrider? No, nothing in there that I was, I was, maybe Tuner? Does Tuner have anything? Because it's kind of like a retro car, so it makes sense to put, like, a retro, you know, wheels on it and stuff like that. They actually don't look bad at all. The stanced EG. It's just funny that they're called stanced EG because I'm stancing the car. Uh, it's actually a lot of good wheel options for this car. I actually kind of like the regular wheels that it comes on with, to be honest. But I can't change the color of those, so I'm going to do... Uh, Endo V2 Dish isn't bad either. I think I'm going to go with those stanced EGs, so I, I like those. And then I think I'm going to change the color to white. Yep, frost white. And then uh, you could do custom tires if you want to. I'm not going to. Uh, and then I'm not going to do bullet for tires either. I never do, or no tire smoke either. Um, for the respray now, let's go respray this bad boy. And I'm honestly probably just going to do something basic, like a stone silver. Uh, and then keep the roof, like, orange to match the, um, like, stickers and stuff like that. Because so far so far that's what i like but actually let me see if i can what does white look like oh that's actually wait hold on hold on that actually looked cool with that green white does look really good though um but let's go look at that green i just saw there even like these little browns look good <laughs> this car just looks good man 
a lot of cool little customization. What was that green though? That was a cool looking green. Yeah, that sea green. That like surprisingly works really well with this color combo. Um, but I think I'm just gonna go with white. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm just gonna go with white. Just match match up the wheels and everything like that. And then I'm probably gonna keep the roof orange how it is. But is there a better orange? Yeah, that's better actually. Sunrise orange. Oh, it. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Oh, it kind of does. It kind of like changes the sun strip there a little bit. I think it does change the sun strip. I, I can't tell. It kind of looks like it does. Kind of looks like it doesn't. But the sun strip definitely isn't the same. Uh, okay, so what is the best color here though? What is the one that matches that line the best? I don't think it's sunrise orange. I think that's a little bit too orangey. Actually, orange is so far the best. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's just orange. I think we're just gonna keep it orange. Do something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good, mate. Crew of them would go on the side, of course. Every car goes on the side nowadays. I don't know why they do that. Um, and then there was no secondary color, was there? Oh, there was a secondary color. Okay. Oh yeah, that was the roof. Yeah, the. I, I don't know why I was. Uh, <laughs> what I was thinking there. And then what else was I about to change? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to change. I want to change the plate. We're just gonna do like a. Yeah, we're just gonna do a white, white one. And then I also wanted to change this, the louvers. I don't really like the louvers. What does the uh, what do those mud guards look like now without the roll cage look good with it in there? No, yeah, I kind of figured the roll cage wouldn't look good. Uh, but roof, is it better just with a stock roof on there? Like go full stance and literally just do like nothing. No, I think I like it with those on there. Uh, let's do the where the yeah, mud guards. I want to see what these look like as secondary colors now. Nah, that's too much. And then louvers. Do I want the louvers to be white or do I want no louvers at all? I kind of don't like the louvers. Yeah, I don't really like the louvers. I'm just gonna take louvers off, and then that's that's it. Oh, I didn't stay time timed that perfectly so i know you guys are probably like well this is a very boring build there's not you didn't really do much to it um but yeah man i don't really i wanted to do a stance build with it and i think this is honestly plenty i think this looks incredible how it is i think it looks really good actually look at this bad boy dude uh so now at the end of the video what i would do is normally i talk about whether or not i think the car is competitive in its class I'll tell you right now, the Volker Nebula Turbo in the Sports Classics class is not competitive, <laughs> so uh, I, I can, I, I, th th it just slides too much, it's handling is horrible, it might have a good top speed, I can't really tell, but uh, it's handling just sucks, like, look at this, it slides so much, yeah, I guess it's a good drift car though, which makes sense, because they were trying to go for that, I think, oh, oof, dude, imagine if they gave drift tuning to more vehicles, Oh my god, that'd be so much fun, drifting something like this, or that sh even like that shaft right in front of me, like drifting that in the drift races, would be so much fun, they need to do that, they need to give more drift tuning to vehicles, at least in GTA 6, if not in GTA Online, do it in GTA 6, Rockstar, that'd be sick. I love this car though, the Nebula Turbo is such an underrated car. Like, look at it guys, god it works so well, it works so well. Um, and then normally another thing I usually do at the end of this is I would uh, tell you whether or not the car can be stanced via the glitch, the stance glitch. For those who don't know what that is, pretty much you just shoot the tires, or not the tires, but like ar around the tires, and it can lower the car more than what the suspension can give it, and so it can make it like stanced. Um, most cars can do that. A lot of the 2013 OG cars can do it, um, but this car already has the suspension option to slam it on the ground anyway, so it won't have that option to lower it even more. So there's no point in doing that. So I guess the last thing to do is just show you guys all the interior shots and everything like that. So let's do go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm getting my, oh, hey, hey, what? bang, what's up, what up, <clears throat> what up, oh yeah, get off my car. That's what I thought, but he was squaring up for me, with me for no reason. Anyway, let's open all the doors up. He's in the way, but first person. So the trunk is obviously just a trunk, <laughs> nothing is special in there. Uh, in here, hold on. Flashlight? Is that a ma I can't even tell if that's manual. 
Yeah, I think it's supposed to be manual, but it's like a weird manual transmission. Um, so that's good. The interior, I guess, looks okay. I mean, it just looks like a basic 90s interior, which makes sense because that's what the car is. And then this is just like the typical inline four that they include in all, uh, all inline four cars, to be honest, all inline four tuners. So nothing really special there, but dead guy sitting next to the car, so that's nice. Um, I guess you could see it better here. Yeah, I think it is supposed to be a manual, but it's a really weird design for one. Uh, back seats, small. Um, but either way, yeah, there it is. There's my uh, Nebula, oh, Nebula Turbo Custom. Not custom, but Nebula Turbo. Let's close all my doors up real quick. God, this guy is going to... Oh. Hold on, let me get rid of this idiot. Wow, it revs up to... Oh my god, it revs up to 8,000 RPMs. I don't think that's really realistic there, GTA Volvo 240s. I don't think rev up to 8,000 RPM. But uh, there you go. Overall, do I think it's worth it? Well, you can't even buy it anymore anyway, so you kind of have to wait for it to become available. But when it does become available, I would definitely grab it. If you are into, like, modifying cars in this game, definitely. This car has so much customization options for it, guys. Like, you could do whatever you want to do with this car. And I think it would look good with tons of different mods done to it, so... I definitely think, yes, you should you should cop one when you can, but sadly you can't buy one right now. So I do think it's worth it. Um, however, it is not competitive in the sports class because if you're a racer, don't buy this. Uh, it's just it's not for you. It's just, too, it's just too slow. It really is a slow car, but it does look so good. Like, look at that thing, guys. God, I love it. I think it looks incredible. But anyway, guys, that is the end of today's Pimp My Ride. Again, remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see me customize a certain vehicle, leave a comment down below of that vehicle or else I'm not going to customize it like ever because that's just how I work. If you leave a comment, I will customize it. If you don't leave a comment, I'm obviously not going to be able to read your mind. So if you want to see me customize a certain vehicle, leave a comment below. It'll make me so happy. So happy. It'll make me so happy. I will probably give you 20 kisses. 20 kisses. Now that's a probably. So there's no no guarantee that I'm going to give you those 20 kisses. But there's a, uh, there's a possibility. I might. I might come to your house. It is 20 times. You know what I mean? So, you know, leave a comment down below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. Thanks for making my 2023 great. Here's to a great 2024. Let me, I, 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 I can't wait to see where this channel goes. I mean, it's already gr grown pretty substantially in just one year. Uh, and so who knows what we're, what we're going to achieve in 2024. So, and thank you guys all so much for that. And uh, I hope you guys have a good year. Das and have a nice night.